Okay, so, and everyone, bear with, um, I wanted to get a drill press. And, because I, I want to do, you know, crafts and products that drill press would help with. Harbor Freight had one super duper cheap, 80 bucks. Very cheap. So I wanted to get the drill press. But in order to set up the drill press, I need a work table to work on. But my work table had water damage. It had uh, rust and it was particle board because particle board is stupid cheap. Particle board is just glue and sawdust that we pretend like it's wood. It's not wood. Yeah. So I had to try and clean it up. I had to sand particle board, which doesn't work very well, but it was the best no. I could do. And I painted over it to try and seal it. But in order to do all that, I had to clean the entire rest of the, the porch. And I was in a rush to do it because I'm like, I got to get this out. I got to get out to the road because garbage is going to run Monday night, Tuesday. There's all this junk. I have to get out because we put it on the side of the road. And the claw truck comes by and picks it up. Got to get it all out there for Monday, which is Labor Day, which is a federal holiday, which means that the garbage truck runs a day. Later. But hey, you got all that stuff done. And folks, if you listen to all that, that was so boring. I just killed all the diseases in your body. That's how boring I was. You're welcome. Hey, you know what? They'll probably prefer it because, you know, every week on the YouTube comments, they complain that we talk about our cats too much. Grady's going to be six this week. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Baltimore. All right. Um. So yeah, that's that's been my. You week. should make that meatloaf gelatin for his birthday. <laughs> no. <sighs> All right. This week was one of those weeks where, folks, you sent me too much. Bless your hearts. You, you you said everybody sends me the stuff you can send me the stuff uh twitter is the best way to get a hold of me but there's also uh, we have the kind of audience that the more they like us the more it feels like they hate us we you can send those to requests at radio .com if you want to send in stories and whatnot and uh we had i had it, this it took me a while to narrow them down they were all that thing out there wow it happens every so often i have like like Final con normally final contenders for a week get back to like 10 stories or so and then I have to whittle it down. We had 20 this week. So I'm sitting there Stupid going. Stupid doesn't take Labor Day off. I'm sitting there going, do I want to do this one or is this one more nice. up or what? So thank you and why? Why would you do this? That's, that's, that's my take on this. one. Thank you and why would you do this everyone? Let's let's get the intro rolling. Deal with this. Fuck up. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, that's you assholes. Uh, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Send it to uh, a bit like like Paul. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I I watched that this week. I don't care. Um. We have got a cornucopia, a plethora, an abundance of horseshit. Let's let's start with a literal horseshit because we actually did have that a couple weeks ago. We did, yeah. You know. All right. There's behavior that we are we when kids do it, when small children do it, we're a little more understanding. It's like, yeah, you don't know the rules yet. Um, welcome to Earth. It sucks here. Settle your ass down. That's pretty much the first, <laughs> the first ten years of your life is get yeah. used to it. Um, and then there's a point in your life when you're still doing this shit. I I put you in the irredeemable category. Um, one of the Big, big milestones in human existence. Not peeing wherever you want. 
That's a big one. House tr house break dogs oh. master this. Fucking dogs. They master this shit. You can't. Dairy Queen customer urinates at counter after mass dispute on Vancouver Island. Scrunkle Terry, uh, customer at a Dairy Queen, British Columbia, took out his frustration over being told to wear a mask by relieving himself in front of staff at the counter. It was captured on camera and appears to show the man urinating on the counter following an altercation with restaurant employees. The man in the video, the man can be heard arguing with staff and refusing to wear a mask as he unsips his pants. Staff can be heard shrieking as the man begins to relieve himself. Um, this is the first incident of this nature, said Royal Canadian Mounted Police Sergeant Chris Monso. I think people should just wear masks and be safe and be polite. You'd think so, Canada, but we're, we're, we're ruining you. Yeah. We're importing yeah. this shit. Exporting this shit, rather. I don't know understand why this has become such a fucking thing I piece don't. cloth just cover your stupid fucking plague vector pie hole and go about your fucking day it it's most of y'all aren't that good looking it's, none of us are going to be on the cover of vogue none of us are hiding a fucking work of art okay most of us not that fucking good looking just put on the mask it it's the principle of the thing, Tara, which, of course, the principle being. I would like an excuse to be an antisocial fuckwad. That's that's the principle at work here. That's a very important principle, Tara. You can tell me what to do. I would say you tell me what to do. I'm going to pee on you. This is quite literally how toddlers think. This is. Mommy said, no, I'm going to pee on the carpet. It, 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 wages in Canada, but it's 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 not enough for this shit. No, it isn't. No. You, and that like they're all taking it out on people that didn't make these decisions. Don't make enough money to deal with your ass like. They already work at Dairy Queen. They right. get yelled at a lot. Their life is hard enough. Fast food. You know, they live sucks. in non-slip shoes with their hair mashed under a hat. They're sweaty. They smell like maple walnut because I can tell you from experience that that is the smell that clings to you when you work in the ice cream business. <laughs> you smell like maple walnut always. <laughs> they don't need your bullshit. Well, Tara, to be fair, it's Canada. Everything smells like maple walnut. True. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Great comments. Um, are you from Canada? Do you disagree? Comment in the, in the below and tell us what you think Canada smells like. Uh, that's called engagement. They're looking for this dude. If you have seen this dude, call somebody. Keep your distance. However, he may pee on you. All right. Next up. Oh, boy. This one, there have been situations where it's taken me, uh, it's taken me a while to get it. Everybody else gets it before me. And I'm like, what? Wait, oh, and then something dawns on me and I realize how fucking thick headed I was in the given situation. Normally it's been about stuff like, you know, like I, I wasn't catching a reference or People have made a joke that had gone over my head. I'm like, okay. This one is, well, this is quite literally over your head. Banner plane. Nothing that's, goes over my head. I'm too fast. I would catch it. <laughs> Banner plane that some perceive as hate message was actually marriage proposal. Oh. And yes, if, if you're having trouble reading that, it says, Jew, I have a question. Why is this night different than every other night? Banner plane. It's not that time of year. Banner plane seen over the weekend in South Florida caused a fire. Well, of course, fucking Florida. 
Um, the message on the banner caught the attention of many who have accustomed to hate speech. Um, everyone's sensitivities and alarm levels are high levels. We, we see a banner that blatantly says, Jew, I have a question. The banner in flight originated Aerial Banner Incorporated at North Perry Airport. For the local uh, 10 News' Glenna Milberg says, it was actually a marriage proposal, like so many they do, and a woman nicknamed Jew raised no eyebrows until a call from the until a call from the Anti Defamation League. I was like, "Wait, what? What are you talking about?" said Milo Skrull Jr. with Aerial Banners Incorporated, and then after sitting back, thinking about it reading a few things and having it explained to us, I was like, oh my God. How fucking thick. He had to sit back. He had to think about it. He had to read a few things and someone had to explain it to him. To the person who bought this banner. No, this is the person who flew the banner. No, I know, but I also want to talk to the person who paid for yeah. it because did it not occur to you? <laughs> like, okay, if that's her nickname, that's a nickname. But if there was ever a time to not use a nickname, that's kind of a weird nickname. I got to say. Yeah. What is that? Like people are suggesting it's like June or Jewel. But June at that point, pay for the two extra letters and just write Jewel. June is already one syllable. Yeah. Jewel's pretty short. Jewel's not even two syllables. You say it as one. It's Jewel, but you say Jewel. It's one syllable. So I don't get. Yeah, people are saying, why did she not spell it J-U? Yeah. So I'm a little suspicious about this in the first place. This has this. Is like. I wouldn't be entirely surprised to find out that her nickname is Jew because she's the only non-Gentile in the friend group. Maybe it could be for it's Julie. Florida. Maybe it could be for Julie or Julia. Who the fuck is... But again, why would that be E.W.? Yeah. And also, did she say Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably be mortified at this point. But... Yeah. All right. Well, this next one is just just as long as he didn't hold the ring up like this. <laughs> OK, let's go for some pure, absolute, blatant stupidity. We go out in the world every day and occasionally we will see someone. Do the dumb thing. Just this morning, I have a little story. I was in the Lowe's. I was buying paint for a project. And there's the self-checkout. And there's four of them. And they all have the green lights, which means walk up to them. So I start walking up to them when a guy stops me and says, Hey, don't jump in line. And I look over at the Lowe's guy and say, Are those open? He says, Yeah. So this dude had been sitting there waiting for the cashier. Oh, no. Without in a line of his own devising, without realizing that all the, the self checkouts were open, all four of them just wide open. And he was he just like, oh, he didn't even a fucking apologize to me. Fucking idiot. That's a minor thing. This one, however, is you. Just, I can only imagine watching this take place and being in awe. Driver destroys glass window at Plantation Dunkin' Donuts after trying to reverse back into drive through. A South Florida driver's attempt getting some Sunday morning donuts took a turn for the worse as he left the drive through without part of his order. Driver decided to back his car up back into the drive through lane when he went crashing into a window. Hezekiah Orol. 
Hezekiah. Wow, that's that's a deep that's a deep biblical cut right there. Jesus. Not well, actually deeper than that one. Shit. <laughs> Do you know who Hezekiah was? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I'm fucking people. We have all gone through the drive-thru, got the order wrong. Welcome to life. Yeah. The solution, and it's a shitty solution. I acknowledge this, but the solution, you have two options. You either go back around, even if there's a line, or you park the car and you get out. Backwards is not an option. There's a reason you went through a window, and it's because this was not an op. Backwards was not the option. You crashed the game. This you, you, You're lucky you didn't crash another car. Like it's I could just imagine being there as this was happening. Because there are phases you go through as you watch something like this yeah. happen. It's like, oh no, what's you want to stop them for a second, but then they're committed. So all you can do is sit back and bask in it as it's happening. Some of people are laughing. Some people are just going, Ooh. but you're, you're in that moment. There, there is. The, it, it's like, this is going to happen. Are you going along for the ride or what? I think it, I, I love they got a quote from some other customer because the store had to close for the day. I think it's reckless. And as an adult, I now have to find another Duncan and get to work in 20 minutes. Oh, that's that's your that's your fucking takeaway. Uh huh. Um. Poodle. I'm like, I've been there. I've been there where I like the place I'm planning to get some quick food on my way to a place is closed. And I'm like, well, shit. But if the news came up to me and asked me about it, the quote I asked them to put on paper attached to my name, Rob Kennish, <laughs> would not be, well, dang, this really ruined my day. Uh, no one was hurt. The car sustained only minor damage, but the Dunkin' Donuts would remain closed until a technician could fix the glass. I, man, this, you, the, the minimum wage that people don't, okay. If you've never worked retail before, you might have the mistaken impression that when something like this happens, a special team jumps into motion, like the broken glass team or the someone puked in aisle seven team or the someone set a display on fire and we have to fix it team. We peed on the fucking counter team. You know who that is? People that work there. Just the people. You pe get biohazard training. I have biohazard spill training because I worked at Old Navy. <laughs> it's true and it's horrible, but you say it out loud and you you just appreciate the absurdity of it all. So yeah, they, these people, yeah, and the, and they're losing their paychecks. Josh is right; they're they're losing their paychecks until so. Yeah, they they're not gonna pay you for those days they're closed either. These poor people, they have to sweep up broken fucking glass. A lot of it. Plate glasses, that's a lot. Big, they have to deal with this shit. It's on them. Because you did not understand the very basic shit of no backward. Forward. Always forward. Only forward. No backward. Just... <laughs> But wait, wait, we're, we're still, we're going through it tonight. It's just a stupid all the way down. And this, of course, this is Tennessee. You know what we haven't had in a while, Tara? Meth. So it's not that. A good old fashioned gender reveal. Oh, God. <laughs> Three schools go on lockdown. Because of a couple's gender reveal. 911 caller reported. Did you do? 
911 caller reported hearing gunshots and a scream forcing three Tennessee schools to go on lockdown. And it was all because of a couple's gender reveal for Murfrees, Murfreesboro. I can say that. Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. Um, police said upon learning they were having a boy, the dad to be fired, quote, celebratory rounds into the air. And the mom, quote, screamed out of excitement at about 1.30 p.m. Wednesday. The neighbor who heard the noises called 911. Officers put John Petard Elementary and Oakland Middle School on lockdown. Schools are roughly 30 mi- 35 miles southeast of Nashville. Officers discovered it wasn't an active shooter, but instead a couple making phone calls to share their baby news with out-of-town relatives. Expected dad, whose name wasn't listed in a news release, Later face a charge of unlawful discharging of a weapon within city limits. Look. I'm gonna get curly a- Bob? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting it a little real. Um, I have actually had gun violence in my tiny little suburban neighborhood. And you know what it was? It was a gunshot and screaming. Just like this. I don't know what such a big deal about it. We're just shooting a gun. We're happy. No, no, no. There's, there's no way to know if a gunshot and screaming is, yay, it's a boy, or oh my God, we're all going to die. We live in a society.gif. Um, is <sighs> you can't just shoot fucking. If a gun goes off in a suburban area, I, I, I'm not, I've got the stupid. You know what? Not even in cities either, because people freak out about that shit, too. I've got that stupid uh, trope in my mind. that Gunshots just go off in cities and nobody cares. No, 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 no. They fucking care. A gunshot goes off. Shit's going down. That's how America works. It, at any point, any day, bam. Shit's happening. And they yeah. sound the same, whether it's happy gunshots or murder gunshots. Like your Yosemite Sam ass. What the fuck? Yeah, school. Like, yeah. what is wrong with you? Who's penis? <laughs> 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 and also, there, there's the, uh, what was it? Sa- uh, Sand Age uh, in the channel says schools don't fuck around with this shit. No, they don't. Oh, you know why? Because kids keep getting shot to fucking death in school. We kind of have a little problem with that. We have an easy yeah. solution. Take away guns. But we won't do it because we're fucking morons. <laughs> oh, the YouTube is going to be delightful this week. <laughs> Eat I my- agree. I want to take all your guns and fire them into the fucking sun. Come at me. Eat my entire asshole. The other thing is, if yes. you're shooting a gun in the air, bullets don't go to space. No. They are not that fast. They, they go, are, in fact, subject to gravity once they lose momentum. And they come back down. And it is a tiny little compacted, hard, dense bit of metal with a pointy end that is meant to tear through flesh. And you have just sent it where the fuck ever. Maybe it'll just land in because, a fucking tree. Because your baby is going to have a penis. <laughs> or maybe you have just send a bullet through grandpa's head. You don't know. So, yeah, just because of a penis. And it's not even you don't. We're not. okay. Dan, take this woman target shirt and get her over this fear she has. It's not even about fear. No, we're about done. You know how many pup? Do you know how many fucking people get shot to death for stupid ass reasons like this? It's not about fear. Don't make fun of me that, oh, she's just scared. Even if I was fucking John Wick, I would want to take all your guns and fire them into the sun. Yeah, we're about done. Just so we're clear. We're done with this shit in America. It's it's terrifying. Hi, I'll just say I'm very skilled with weapons. I'm very familiar with them. I fired machine guns. I've had machine guns fired over my head. If I hear a fucking gun go off and a scream... My reaction is going to be the same as pretty much everyone else's. And again, last time that happened to me, bad things happened where I live. So that's yeah. my experience with screams and gunshots. Uh, next up. All right. Last week, do you remember the dude 
who was in the home in the home improvement store and there was a beeping in his pants so he presumed it was a yeah. grenade yes what did i tell you it was his phone no 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 it was meth that was meth right yes that's how meth works they never confirmed it but i i am sure of it and this week someone of course has to up the fucking ante as they always do. Man on meth drove seven counties away after thinking he was being spied on. Lancaster man is facing charges after police say he drove across the state of Pennsylvania through seven counties after he thought someone was spying on him through his CD player. Oh, honey. According to St. Police, the 28-year-old from Mannheim, Pennsylvania, walked into No, the... you didn't say the funny part. What? What? Punxsutawney? Because, like, <laughs> there is one Punxsutawney resident who we do spy on. <laughs> on. <laughs> it's true. Who would be justified in going on the lamb. Uh, 28-year-old walked into... Uh... I didn't have a great joke for that. I just wanted it out there. 20-year-old walked into Punxsutawney Station... August 28th, because he said he didn't trust the police in Lancaster County. The man proceeded to explain to police that someone had replaced parts in his CD player so someone could spy on him. Police noted it was immediately obvious the man was under the influence and hadn't slept in days. Their field sobriety check and drug recognition expert met with the man and believed he was under the influence of marijuana and some sort of central nervous system. Stimulant, a search of the man's cars found methamphetamine CD player I don't know why the CD player like there's nowhere to hide a camera in there I guess it was a radio there's a lot of other devices on your car that would make it a lot easier to spy on you I don't know if it was a car CD player or like you know an old fashioned CD player but also like sir do you have a smartphone <laughs> do you have one of these they're injecting me with microchips you don't need to worry about the cd player yeah you, you don't gotta worry about your cd player we're all being spied on yeah it's fucking legal no less no just we made that trade for twitter for twitter <laughs> and facebook yeah Bad trade. And Tinder. Ses, ses, drove through seven counties without sleeping because you got fucking scared of your boombox. What the shit? Yeah. This is a terrible drug. I'm not, all right. People are like, oh, this is the, the meth is will ruin your life and your teeth. And you, this is what it does to your body. This is just not fun. Look, the Dan. Hmm? Say what? I don't. What about it is the good part? I don't know what the good part is either. Drugs are supposed to have a good part. Right. That's the whole point of doing that, them. Right. If you do the drugs and it's all bad part, why are you doing the drugs? It's. There is, like I, when this guy smoked one joint and dry heaved for three hours, guess what he stopped doing? Because it wasn't fun. <laughs> like they call them recreational drugs for it's yes. supposed to be recreation. This seems more like work to me. <laughs> Pointless work. <laughs> this seems like occupational drugs. And, and that's not. Yeah. This is what you're doing now. You're not making any money at it, but this is what you're doing. <laughs> but it's going to take up your whole day. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you wind up at a police station seven counties away. You haven't slept. You are high off your ass. Ugh. It, this is not fun. Why? Why? This is not a good drug. It's not even a good story. <sighs> it's not even good. It's just. Everyone at the police station. Like I've had, I've been, I've been drunk to a point where I no longer feel happy. 
but a good story usually comes of it. This isn't a good story. Like once I slapped a guy and then spent an hour trying to convince him I hadn't because I was that drunk. I, I need to become the scared straight dude because I need to go to store to <laughs> schools, just take our vast backlog of all these stories and be like, this is meth. Does this sound like a good one? We have legal drugs that don't do this to you. You're kind of stupid. Like I'm not, not saying don't do drugs, but I'm saying, do you want to be made fun of on the internet? Justifiably. I have no fight by, by, by old people. Yeah. Uh, our last one, this motherfucker. Uh, it's more fun, more sh retail. I, I, I was going to call it shenanigans. This isn't shenanigans. This is, this is. Fuck you. We have all dealt. Well, we, if we've done retail, we've all dealt with the customer who did not get their way. Sometimes we've been the customer who did not get their way. And it. You know, get your stupid lizard brain and you're trying real hard not to be an asshole. You, you hold it back. You understand. You try and realize they're just doing their fucking job. Everything fucking sucks. Give them a little slack. You can do that. You can be an adult and be a better person. Make things less shitty for everyone. Or. Or you could not arson. do that. Arson. Man accused of starting fire in store after credit card decline sir that's not gonna fix it <laughs> with bill man faces charges and uh faces arson and other charges for allegedly starting a fire in a store where his credit card was declined about 3 30 a.m police were called to the sheets convenience store oh no <gasps> a sheets a sheets wow those places are awesome. How dare you? They were told a customer just had his card decline, left the store, returned with a gas can, the results of which he poured on the floor and set a fire. He then drove off as the store manager put out the fire. Uh, police began searching for the man. The car in which he drove off was found in an apartment complex. Shortly after, uh, sheriff's deputies uh, saw the man, a uh, male subject, under a tractor trailer near a Lowe's store. Police say the man had a hammer and there was a brief standoff before police used a taser and he was arrested. Okay, Thor. Kyle Mabe, 40, is charged with federal arson, federal burglary, federal destruction of property, not federal, felony arson, felony burglary, felony destruction of property, misdemeanor destruction of property, and misdemeanor larceny. What the fuck? Why was there a standoff when he had a hammer? Yeah. I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, um, just for you playing at home, obviously this dude is white. A little bit. Th th this but also, it's a hammer. It's not a knife. It's not a gun. It's a fucking hammer. <laughs> it's like you're not. You're not. That's not Mjolnir, buddy. It's not. No. First of all, you're easily banned from sheets for life. And I'm pretty sure you're banned from all of them. Why would you do this to yourself? No. I mean, aside from the jail, when you get out of jail, you're never walking into a sheets again. Why would you do that to yourself? They have every soda you've ever even heard of in a fountain. And the good ice, the little pellets of crunchy ice. Oh, my. I have, while I've, I, occasionally I've had my shit decline for whatever fucker. Sometimes the fucking shit doesn't work. Sometimes it sucks. It's know. embarrassing. You either, you got a couple options. You try into the card, you pull out the cash if you have it, or you just go, oh my God, I'm sorry. And you leave. Yeah. What were they supposed to do? Just be like, okay, we like your face. So, uh, we'll start a tab for you or some shit. Sir, I didn't know you had the power of fire. My bad. Your hoagie is free now. Like even before the fire, what was it going to be like? Come on, give me something for free. That's not how. If anyone, if if they just like break the rules and give you shit, that's on them. That's coming out of their fucking paycheck, yeah. and they don't have their big paycheck in the first fucking place. 
it's 40 years old and you're thinking okay well i'm gonna settle this with fire then they'll they'll see they'll know better than to fuck with me next time they'll be sorry yeah for me not having money <laughs> Like, okay, if you haven't heard of Sheets, if you haven't heard of Wawa, these are great places. We don't have them in all places. We don't have them where I, I miss live. them. It's terrible. We only have the, the, the best. Uh, uh, Sheets have, is like, I walked into a Sheets for the first time, and it's like a fucking one. You don't even understand. Like, this place is so big. It's vast. It's enormous. Mm -hmm. And there's a pizza counter. And then there's a sandwich counter. And then there's a burger counter. And then there's every soda fountain in existence. And then there's the fucking convenience store snacks. And this is all at a gas station. Like, the best we kind of have here is a Circle K. It's, it's, it's all right, I guess. But, you know, there's not... Not a lot going on there. I wish we had a, like a Wawa or Sheets or something. This guy yeah, doesn't. I do miss it. You do not know how fucking good you have it. Yeah, motherfucker. Is jerk. How how dare you, sir? Not all of us can go to the Sheets. You you do not appreciate what you have. You had Sheets privilege, and you took it for granted. With five, with how how the fuck was this like? Okay, I guess I'm gonna burn the building down. That's my only yeah, move I here. Dan, there's a certain. It's always men. There's a certain subset of men, and fuck your YouTube comments because you know I'm right. <laughs> that the second anything, the second they hit a speed bump in their life, the answer is fire. And I just want to know who the fuck hurt you and why aren't you well, in therapy? It's not, it's not, we're talking about this kind of dude. It's not always fire. It's not, you know, I can see these are the fuckers who knock over displays. No, we've on done them. a lot of them where it's fire. Okay, yeah. Or they have. pee on the counter. Or they pee on the counter. <laughs> but not. we've done a lot of them where it's specifically fire. I mean, more commonly, it's like they knock the display over on their way out. Or, yeah. Or they yell or they throw some shit and then they go. The fire is kind like, of like, I'm sorry your father never hugged you. <laughs> Work through that shit with a professional. Like, for real? How do you get to 40 years old and be like, this is my plan? Not a good plan. It's the first thing we, we learned this week. Don't uh, love your Wawa, love your sheets, hold them close. Don't, don't, don't take them for granted because at any given point, some motherfucker could set them on fire. Uh, fuck. We have learned that meth is, yet again, we don't know, this is remedial at this point. Meth is not a fun drug. We don't understand the point of it. Why? Um, really, we, we have all the evidence. It's not even anecdotal anymore. It's fucking empirical. We have documentation. Watched all of Breaking Bad. <laughs> and I still don't know what the fuck the appeal is. And that was about as romanticized as you can get. We've uh, we've learned that just because you you're based on your perception of the gender construct, you are excited about your offspring. Don't bring firearms into it. Why? Why? There is no part of this equation that requires a gun. Like that. We've, we've learned that the drive through only goes one way. I don't know why we have to tell you this. The things we shouldn't have to learn tonight. It's like it, we it, should already know. They paint it on the ground. It says one way. It's there's an arrow. If you can't read, there's an arrow. It, it, yeah, it's like go, this only. <sighs> we have uh, learned that. Um, maybe you should be a little more conscious of what's going on in the world if, if you're going to be um, doing advertisements that people can just hand you. Uh, you might accidentally do an anti-Semitism if you're a little thick. This dude's a little thick. I'm sorry, he is. How do you accidentally do a, a, a light anti-Semitism? How do you do that? 
And finally, we've learned if you're still peeing on things, if your argument is your own urine, you need, you failed. You, you failed. You failed. You failed. You failed everything. Like, this is, I don't know how you made it out of kindergarten, because that's one of the things you should have learned there. 